What's going on guys, Orzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback player SBC card to review and it is going to be um Titi, a player that's got really good defensive stats, really good physical stats, but not so much when it comes down to the pace. 78 pace, I guess is all right, but it's nothing top tier. He is a six foot player with low medium work rates, two star skill moves and a three star weak foot. Six foot in this game. It's okay for a centre-back, but something I've definitely noticed is that heading ability this year is much better than FIFA 21. So maybe six foot could be a little bit of an issue depending on who you are matching up against. Now, he has got low medium work rate, so that tells me he's not going to be a player going forward. He's going to be a player sitting in that centre-back position at all times. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, you guessed it, it's the shadow chem style. There's no need to go ahead and boost the physicals because the physicals already look amazing. You might as well just go ahead and give him as much pace as possible. So the shadow chem style giving him 89 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. But take a moment to look at those long shots and take a moment to look at a shot power. Hold up a second. We might find um titty on the edge of our box and we might just go for a quick banger if we do i'll definitely go for it but with low medium work rates i really doubt it now his passing ability not looking bad 80 short passing 77 long passing i'm obviously not expecting him to be someone like a bruno fernandez that can just switch the ball all the way to the other side i really doubt that's going to happen but the simple passes i feel like um titty is going to be able to do it now his dribbling ability questionable very questionable i don't think he's gonna feel good on the ball with like 65 agility and 67 dribbling even his ball control is not the greatest but at least his reactions is good because you know if the ball is going at a decent pace past him he will react fast enough to actually intercept it now the defending stats this is where the stats get a little bit tasty 97 interceptions 89 heading accuracy 91 defensive awareness 96 standing tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well i'm expecting him to put in the put in the craziest craziest of tackles today and moving on to the physicals he has got 87 jumping 71 stamina 90 strength with the 86 aggression as well that stamina not looking the greatest it really really isn't but we're gonna see how it goes today maybe it is enough and maybe he's a player because he's got low medium work rates that doesn't actually use a lot of stamina now when it comes down to the links french La Liga, Barcelona. You have amazing links with him, Titi. You've got a Ferland Mendy, strong link. you got obviously, uh, you know, the La Liga just in general, like a Valverde weak link. But you can also link him up with a Kempembe. And we all know how good Kempembe is this year. Now, when it comes down to positions, one position, one position only. And it is going to be the centre-back position in a 4-4-2 formation. So let's get into the games. I've lost the ball in a terrible, terrible area. And he's actually not gone for that through ball. Um, Titi's going to turn really quickly, by the way. Use that physicality to actually hold off that player and just go for a calm pass back. I kind of want to step here, see if I can maybe intercept that ball all day ago. I thought for a second he was actually going to allow it to go through. But that, those high interceptions do be coming into play right now. He's going to through ball that. He is. I kind of want to step here. There you go. That's a perfect tackle from him, Titi. Go for a few turns just to see how he feels on the ball. It didn't look anything great, but he did manage to get a good pass off. He's going to pass down, is he? I'm going to try to step that. Oh, my God. You see how fast he actually got out to him? I'm kind of surprised he got out to him that fast. Wait, hold up. Let me go for the export all the way to the other side, and that is going to be a perfect pass. I'm just going to pass this back to him. I want to see if he's able to do these kind of passes. And LBY all the way over. I'm actually shocked, by the way, how good his passing, uh, passing ability actually is. Because on the card, his long passing is not even into the 80s. But he's be, like he's doing these kind of passes right now. I'm going to use his pace. See if I can maybe get, grab an interception. I can't. Valverde does, which is all good. That's a good turn for my opponent. He's trying to make a run there. And Titi, to be fair to him, was actually already tracking it. And actually dropping back a little bit. I want to see if he can do this on a three-star weak foot. I'm telling you guys, his passing ability has impressed me. Really impressed me. I didn't think he was going to be able to do those kind of passes. But he hasn't screwed up a single one. Do we have a corner? We do have a corner. All right, let's see if we can actually win it towards a near post. Come on. Um, Titi versus... I'm not even sure who that's against. And he doesn't even challenge it. The thing is, right, he has got a good jumping ability. So, wait, hold on. I kind of want to go for a finish up. It's not going to happen. Yeah, so he has got a good jumping ability. It's just he's not the tallest of players. That's the issue. Oh, come on. I want to see if I can maybe get him into that finesse shot angle and just give it a go and see if it actually goes in. He's going to he's gonna pass down. He isn't. I'm actually going to push out here. And Titi once again getting out to the player very quickly and actually putting in a really solid tackle. 
kind of want to step here, but I don't really trust in his pace. But now I have to. He's gone down. Um, Titi has done well. For a second there, I thought I committed a little bit too far up. And he wasn't really going to turn fast enough. But he does do well to put in the tackle. No in behind. Don't allow it to happen. Oh, he loses that battle. He's going to cut back into the inside. And then we go ahead and read it. Well played, man. That's an LBY opportunity. And when you see an opportunity, you have to go for it. Yeah, passing ability. He's definitely got it. No doubt about that. You, this is your opportunity to shine. Please. Win this header. This is good. Really good. Nah, and then he loses it out. This is what I mean, man. That heading ability, he really hasn't got it. Like, yes, he's got a good jumping ability, but it's the height. He is going to lose that header to so many centre-backs. That's a good through ball. Oh, no, I've selected the wrong player. I see him. Titi was slightly out of position there, and he did actually do a decent recovery. He's tracking the player down here. I'm wondering, is he going to cross the ball? He isn't. Edge of the box. I need a block in him. Teddy is going to be there for the block. Well played, man. I noticed he was out of position slightly, but he did recover pretty well. That's a good pass up, to be fair to him. Um, Teddy does well to get out to him again. Really nice turn, to be fair to him. And we're just going to switch it here. And it's going to be perfect. There you go, man. I'll tell you guys, um, this card isn't actually too... It's much better than what I expect it to be. Let's just say that. There's a massive gap through that middle. I'm going to need to control him here. And he does so well to get out to Benzema and put in a tackle at a very awkward angle. Let me see if I can get him into like a finesse angle. Come on. This is it. This is our opportunity. Green. Come on. You know he's got the long shots. You know he's got the shot power. So you might as well give it a go. He's going to go up to Benzema, isn't he? Well, he tried to, but we was, out we was out fast enough to actually intercept it. Oh, my God. The ball control there. Okay. Let's take it calm and just switch the play. That ball control nearly screwed us. Who is he up against? I think he's up against... Is that a Dare Militao? It is a Dare Militao. Oh, and again, man. I'm telling you guys, yeah. Heading ability, he hasn't got it in the locker. He really hasn't got it. Like, he hasn't won a single header. So let's pass it to the edge of the box. Make him touch the ball. Go for a few twists and turns. They're not going to know, by the way. They're not going to know what foot Umtiti actually is. And we go for that finesse shot. It was close. Very close. Oh, I wish that actually went in. Let's see if we can give it another go. Come on. Same thing. Edge of the box. He runs onto it. Nah, I don't think... Oh, he doesn't even win the header on that one. Hold up. Hold up a second. A few twists and... I tried it with a weaker foot. I, you never know, right? You never know what can go in in this game. That's a good pass. Is he going to through ball that? Oh, I thought he was going to through ball that up. But you know what? I'm going to track here. And he's going to allow it. That goes in. Oh, my. Hey, it props to him, man. It was an amazing cross. And Benzema, play of the month, Benzema. That's what he provides you. That's an amazing ball. I'm going to switch him to here so he can track this. I'm going to need him to kind of. Is that Sergio Ramos? Why is Sergio Ramos positioned there? What's happening here? What is happening here? Now, this makes me kind of question it. Question a little bit, sorry. If Umtiti was slightly bigger, let, let's say a Virgil van Dijk height, six foot four, does he get that ball? That's what I'm kind of questioning. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with Umtiti. We didn't get a goal. We didn't get an assist. It is what it is. We tried to get a goal. We had long shots outside the box because, you know, the man has got 76 long shots. You might as well give it a goal. We even had headers inside the box, but he was just not winning it. It's simple as that. So we tried to get a goal. It just didn't happen. The only way we was going to get a goal if we got a penalty. Now, when it comes down to the pricing of the card, 80k, 80,000 coins. For a centre-back this early into FIFA. Listen, I don't think 80,000 coins is bad pricing. I really don't. But at the same time, it's like when you can get a Dermal Latel for like 20k. When you can get like Klosterman and all these amazing centre-backs for like 20,000 coins. Why would you ever, ever go ahead and spend 80k on an Umtiti? That's the real way you have to think about it. Like honestly, 80k isn't bad. It really isn't. It's just, I do feel like it is slightly overpriced. So yeah, for me, it's not worth it. For me, you might as well just go ahead and pick up an Adair Militao. But let's get into the ratings, starting off with the pace. The pace really did surprise me. I thought, you know, looking at it like 89 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, that might be a little bit of a lie. He may feel, you know, a little bit slow. Next thing you know, he's getting outpaced. But that wasn't the case. It really wasn't. So for the pace, I'll give him a good rating and it'll be an 8.5 out of 10. Shooting ability. We had a long shot, but it didn't go in. It didn't even hit the target. So for the shooting, I'm going to be fair and not give, you're not going to give him a rating. So for the shooting, we should push it to his side. Passing ability though, he definitely deserves a good rating. I would say an 8 out of 10. I'm really surprised. I thought I was going to rate it a little bit lower than that. 
but there was nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong with his passing. Yes, he isn't like a KDB where he's going to throw ball in behind, but those X balls to the side and some LBYs to the side as well work perfectly fine. So yeah, passing 8 out of 10. Dribbling ability, this is where I thought it was going to be a real, real struggle with him, Titi. I thought his turning ability was going to be non-existent, let's say, to the point where you have to take a touch the way you're facing and just pass the way you are facing. But that was not the case. Dribbling ability really wasn't too bad. So I would say, I would say like a 7.6 out of 10. I thought I was actually going to give him like a 7 out of 10 looking at those stats. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. I'll give him a 7.6. Defending though, I love this guy's interception. Interception, sorry. And I love this guy's standing tackling. Oh my God. This guy's standing tackles, by the way. He would put in like a crazy tackle at the most awkward angles. And he would always come out with the ball. And that just shows you how good a player with 96 standing tackling can actually be. So for defending, I am 100% going to give him a good rating and it is going to be a 9 out of 10 definitely does deserve it and moving on to the physicals the physicals deserve a good rating as well because there was multiple occasions where maybe he was a little bit too slow but because of his physicals he was actually holding off the strike and it allowed him to kind of catch up to the ball and just pass back to my goalkeeper so for the physicals i am going to go ahead and give him an 8 I would say an 8.6. An 8.6 out of 10. The stamina, by the way, wasn't actually too bad because Umtiti doesn't move up. He does. He's not a player that really steps up. He's a player that sits back, waits for, let's say, a player to make a run, and then he goes ahead and tracks it. He's not a person that pushes up and then wastes his stamina at any point. But an overall rating out of 10 definitely deserves a good rating, without a doubt. I would give him... I'll give him an 8.5. 8 an 8.5 out of 10 for the flashback player... SBC um titty. Honestly, not a bad card. Really isn't a bad card. And if you are a Barcelona fan, go ahead and do them. You won't be disappointed. It's just in this game when you can pick up an Adair Militao for 20,000 coins, you wouldn't go ahead and do an um titty. That's just my mindset behind it. And that's my thought behind it as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.